Hello everyone, and I'm Kathleen Parisier, and welcome to this episode of the Citizen of the World, the podcast. This is episode 16, and today I'll be talking to you about investing in yourself. With COVID, the pandemic going on right now, there's a lot of frenzy, a lot of people are stressed, a lot of people have left, lost their jobs, or they're losing income in their small businesses. However, a lot of businesses are also thriving. So I'm here to talk to you about investing in yourself today, as that will lead to large payouts in the future. Are you afraid of investing in yourself? Are you afraid of going to that next level? So since you are listening to this podcast today, you are doing yourself a favor, and please help others do a, change their lives and impact them by leaving a review on Apple Podcasts, or also share the podcast with your friends and family as you never know how a podcast can influence the lives of others. The Citizen of the World podcast inspires action outside your comfort zone so you can live a true life of true purpose and shining your light at the same time. If each and every one of us shines our light, we can make the world a better place by showing up to our divine purpose. So that's what it's all about. It's about showing up for yourself. Get above the frenzy and the stress of this COVID pandemic, but with education. As I mentioned, it's good that you are listening to this podcast already because you are showing up for yourself. You're choosing to tune out all of the chaos and the news to tune into something more educational, influential to grow your life. So instead of constantly watching the news, turn off the TV and invest in yourself. I try to listen to podcasts daily, especially as I walk the dog, as that way, I'm inspired to grow my business and inspired more for personal development, and that is key right now. This is the time to do, to serve, to create, and produce. How can you help others? It's divine time that the world has shut off for you to do whatever you want. What is it that you've always wanted to do but never had the time to? Instead of binging on Netflix, start putting into the world what you've always wanted. So a reminder that a lot of businesses were created in recession and depression. So you cannot think that this is a bad time. It's exactly the opposite. As during the Great Depression of 1930, Disney, IBM, General Electric, and FedEx rose from that chaos. And imagine how much more difficult it was back then. Businesses that were created in 2008 recession include WhatsApp, Groupon, Uber, and then Instagram followed shortly after. So don't think it's a bad time to get in business. More than ever, people are at home. You can connect with them much more easily. Don't keep waiting for the right time to get in business because that time will never come. The universe is giving you the time right now and use it to your advantage. And so if you are in business, it's also good to ask, like, well, how can you change some stuff so that you can grow your business? The key to really investing in yourself, because when you invest in yourself, you're investing in your business if you are in business for yourself. So the key is to change your relationship with money. However you were raised, Think about what your family unit would say about money. Maybe they said money doesn't grow on trees, money we don't have any, don't ask for it. And so these type of things can impact how you see money as a business owner. So change your relationship with money by start seeing the abundance. Believe in abundance and that there is not scarcity, but there's opportunity to make money. Cancel the activities that don't make you money. Make a list of what activities you do in your business and what actually generates you money. So if you spend a lot of time building your website perhaps or spending time on social media, ask yourself if this is constructive. Instead, I recommend delegating a lot of tasks because through hiring a freelancer, you will learn much more. As business owners, as entrepreneurs, we have a tendency to think that we can figure it out all ourselves. I know when I was publishing my book, Citizen of the World, A Key to, A Guide to Adventure and Self-Discovery, 
I was really hesitant to hire anybody to help me with it. But the moment that I did get an editor and somebody to create the front page of my book, that's when it actually came into fruition. That's when it was actually a real thing. So we cannot do everything ourselves. We need to delegate. And there's a lot of platforms to hire freelancers like Upwork or Fiverr, people that are designated to just help you grow your business. So the more you invest in your business, the more you invest in yourself. If you are already in business and you think you figured everything out, you probably haven't. I heard a quote the other day, if you haven't made $100,000 in something, you still have lessons to learn. We should always be a lifelong learner, so never think that you have everything figured out yourself. The best way to learn is to hire other people. Through making an investment in yourself and your business, you'll learn a lot too while growing your business. You cannot reach tight targets, like let's say you want to make 100K in your business or a million. It's really difficult to do that with your own self and the networks you have. Rather, you can use tools to reach more people and make more of an impact. And that's what it's really about, is that you want to give out more. You need to start asking yourself questions about how can you serve others? This is key. The more that we just think about ourselves, we're not able to serve others. So you have to change the paradigm. Ask question to your ideal client. Go out to your target market and do research. What do they actually need? If you could wave a magic wand and just deliver it to them, what would make their lives so much easier? So one way that my husband and I, we have an appliance repair business and we're able to get in front of people who need their dishwasher fix or their dryer, any household appliance repair, we're able to get in front of them because we rank on Google based on search engine optimization content writing. And that is what I've been doing for over a year now is using specific keywords that are answering the questions that people are already looking for. And so this is free organic traffic. We also do paper clicks with Google, but that is more money. With organic traffic, you're able to have a long-term strategy to keep your business going. So we started the content writing last year, and only this year are we on the front page of Google as it takes a lot to really score on Google. There's a lot of different factors at play, and Google doesn't really tell you, so you just have to kind of put in the work, and eventually it pays off. If we didn't do this, nobody would find our business. And I see this often with people who are in business is that people can't find them. They're just depending on their own networks, maybe a little bit of Facebook posting, but you really need your website to score on Google. So you could have a beautiful website, but if it's not communicating with Google, where is your business going? So another way is through sales. Investing in yourself to be better at sales will lead you to more profit. It's not natural for people to sell unless you've been doing it for a long time. In another business that I have for the past four years, I've been a sales specialist and made over 300,000 to 400,000 selling. Therefore, I can say that I am a sales specialist. By helping you sell, sell better, you can make more money. So if you're an entrepreneur and just starting out, you're completely new to sales, you'll need help getting you to a better sales platform so that you can reach out to more people. In the key to sell, one little thing I'll provide with you is let the client talk more. If you're talking too much, you won't close the deal. You have to ask more open-ended questions. And you really need to find out what they want, and then you're just there to offer it. And that's easy, right? People don't want to be sold to, but people want to buy. So remember to keep investing in yourself. 
Keep listening to podcasts. Keep filling your mind with education and information and knowledge. So turn off the music and instead fuel your brain with power. Some podcasts that I really love are the Gold Digger podcast, Oprah's Super Soul Conversation, Natalie Sisson's Untapped podcast, and the She Did It Her Way podcast. As each of these podcast hosts are like-minded individuals like me that really inspire me to show up to my own business and give me ideas and inspiration for business going forward. So my friends, use this opportunity, use this divine timing to create and produce and serve others. Stop thinking about yourself and think about what you can do for others. And I'm telling you, by giving out, you will receive 10 times more. But you do have to be not afraid and take that leap of faith forward, hire people to help you grow your business because you cannot do it all alone. Okay, my friends, so keep positive, keep working hard. I'm always here to help you. I'm always here to support you. Thank you so much for listening and have yourselves a great week.